Are you a new cat owner who's feeling a bit overwhelmed? Don't worry, you're not alone. Everyone's been there scratching their head, trying to figure out the feline enigma that's now a part of their life. But here's the good news. It's not as daunting as it may seem. With a bit of guidance and a dash of patience, owning a cat can be one of the most rewarding experiences of your life. In this video, we'll share some essential tips to help you navigate this exciting journey. Scene script. First things first, understanding your feline friend's behavior. Cats, unlike their canine counterparts, are often seen as mysterious creatures. Their behaviors can sometimes leave us scratching our heads, but once you learn their language, it's a whole new world. Let's dive in to decode some of the common cat behaviors. Ever noticed your cat rubbing against your legs or furniture? That's not just a random act of affection. Your furry friend is leaving their scent, marking their territory, and essentially saying, this is mine. What about those early morning wake-up calls? Is your cat just an early bird? Not exactly. Cats are crepuscular, which means they're most active during dawn and dusk. This behavior stems from their wild ancestors who used these times for hunting. Cats are also experts at nonverbal communication. They express their mood and intentions through their body language. A slow blink, for example, is a cat's way of showing trust and affection, often referred to as a kitty kiss. A puffed-up tail, on the other hand, indicates fear or aggression. Now, let's talk about those meows and purrs. While cats use vocalization with humans more than they do with other cats, the meaning behind these sounds can vary widely. A soft purr usually signals contentment, but it can also be a sign of discomfort or illness. Meowing, on the other hand, is often a cat's way of getting your attention. They might be hungry, want to play, or simply crave some cuddle time. Lastly, if your cat is acting out or exhibiting strange behaviors, it's always a good idea to consult with a vet. Changes in behavior can sometimes indicate underlying health issues. In a nutshell, your cat's behavior is a complex language, a blend of primal instincts, social learning, and individual personality. It's a language that requires patience and observation. But once you start to understand it, you'll discover a whole new layer to your relationship with your feline friend. Understanding your cat's behavior can help you build a stronger bond with them. Now, let's talk about feeding your cat. When it comes to nourishing our feline friends, a balanced diet is of utmost importance. Just like humans, cats require a mix of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats in their meals. They also need a variety of vitamins and minerals to ensure their bodies function at their best. So what exactly does this balanced diet look like for our feline companions? Well, there are two main types of food you can offer your cat dry food and wet food. Each has its own benefits and drawbacks. Dry food, for instance, is convenient and cost-effective. It can be left out for cats to graze on throughout the day without spoiling. Plus, the crunchy texture can help maintain your cat's dental health. However, it's crucial to ensure your cat is drinking enough water alongside dry food, as it doesn't provide as much hydration as wet food. On the other hand, wet food is a great source of hydration and is often more appealing to cats due to its texture and smell. It closely resembles the moisture content of the prey cats would naturally eat. However, it can be a bit pricier and less convenient than dry food, as it spoils quickly once opened. As for how much and how often to feed your cat, this can vary based on their age, size, and activity level. A general rule of thumb is to feed an adult cat two meals a day, morning and evening. Kittens, on the other hand, need multiple small meals throughout the day as they're growing and need more energy. Always consult with your vet to determine the best feeding schedule and portion sizes for your unique cat. It's also worth noting that while treats can be a fun way to reward your cat, they should make up no more than 10% of their daily caloric intake to prevent weight gain and nutritional imbalances. Remember, a well-fed cat is a happy and healthy cat. Regular vet checkups are crucial for your cat's health. This statement isn't just a recommendation, it's a fundamental aspect of responsible cat ownership that can significantly impact the quality and longevity of your feline friend's life. Why are regular vet visits so important, you might ask? Well, cats are masters of disguise when it comes to hiding signs of illness. They can seem perfectly fine one day, and the next, they may be dealing with a health issue. Regular vet checkups can help detect these problems early, even before your cat starts showing any symptoms. Early detection can mean more effective treatments and a better prognosis. Common health issues in cats can range from dental disease and obesity to chronic kidney disease and hyperthyroidism. Regular vet visits can help monitor your cat's weight, dental health, and overall well-being, 
helping to prevent or manage these conditions. Vaccinations are another critical part of your cat's regular vet visits. Vaccines protect your cat from serious diseases like feline leukemia, rabies, and feline distemper. Your vet can guide you on the appropriate vaccination schedule based on your cat's age, health status, and lifestyle. Spaying or neutering is also essential to your cat's health. These procedures can prevent reproductive diseases and certain types of cancer. They also contribute to population control, reducing the number of homeless cats. Remember, your cat relies on you for its health and well-being. Regular vet visits are an investment in your cat's health, potentially saving you from costly treatments down the line. They are an opportunity for you to ask questions and for the vet to provide advice tailored to your cat's specific needs. So make that appointment, keep up with your cat's health checks, and be proactive. Your cat may not always show its appreciation, we all know how cats can be, but rest assured, you're doing what's best for them. Early detection of health issues can make a big difference in your cat's well-being, so don't wait for a problem to arise before you take your cat to the vet. Regular checkups are a crucial part of keeping your cat happy and healthy for years to come. A scene script. Playtime isn't just fun, it's essential for your cat's health. Like us, our feline friends need regular physical activity to stay fit and healthy. But beyond the physical benefits, playtime serves as an outlet for your cat's natural hunting instincts and provides necessary mental stimulation. So what makes a good cat toy? Well, cats are fascinated by movement. Toys that mimic the erratic movements of their prey like birds and mice can be incredibly engaging. Feathered wands, laser pointers, and battery-operated mice are all excellent choices. But remember, safety first. Always supervise play with string toys to prevent accidental ingestion, and be sure to turn off laser pointers when not in use to prevent damage to your cat's eyes. Interactive play isn't the only way to keep your cat entertained. Puzzle toys filled with treats can provide hours of mental stimulation. Even a simple cardboard box can become a source of endless fascination. By offering a variety of toys, you can help keep your cat's interest and encourage more active play. Play is also a powerful tool for preventing and resolving behavioral issues. A cat that's engaged in regular play is less likely to exhibit unwanted behaviors like scratching furniture or aggressive play. In fact, if your cat is acting out, it may be a sign that they're bored and in need of more stimulation. Regular play sessions can also help strengthen the bond between you and your cat. Just 15 minutes a day can make a big difference. Try to incorporate play into your daily routine, perhaps in the morning before work or in the evening before bed. Remember to respect your cat's boundaries during play. If they seem uninterested or start to show signs of aggression, it's best to give them some space and try again later. Just like us, cats have their own unique personalities and preferences. What works for one cat might not work for another. And finally, remember, a bored cat is often a destructive cat. Keep them entertained. By providing regular play and exercise, you're not just keeping your cat happy and healthy, you're making your life as a cat owner that much easier. So go on, grab a toy and start playing. So there you have it, essential tips for new cat owners. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's take a moment to recap the main points. We started our journey by delving into the fascinating world of feline behavior. Remember, understanding your cat is the key to a harmonious relationship. Their body language, sounds, and habits all offer valuable insights into their thoughts and feelings. Next, we discuss the importance of feeding your cat properly. A balanced diet is crucial for their health and well-being. Always ensure they have access to fresh water and remember to consult your vet about the best diet for your cat's age, size, and health condition. Then, we underscored the significance of regular vet checkups. These visits are your best defense against potential health issues. Regular checkups allow for early detection and treatment, ensuring your cat remains in the best possible health. And finally, we explored the importance of playtime and exercise. Engaging your cat in stimulating activities not only keeps them physically fit, but also mentally sharp. Plus, it's a great way to strengthen your bond with your new companion. With these tips, you're well on your way to being a fantastic cat owner. Remember, every cat is unique, so enjoy getting to know your new feline friend.